buhay ito, hindi yung pangalan ni Jojo Julian, hindi yung pangalan ni Pastor Mike, hindi yung pangalan ng kung sino man or galing sa USA. Ang ang sabi po ni David sa ating binasa in Psalms chapter 16, he said, Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. Tatlong bagay ho ang sinabi ho ni David nung kanyang isinulat ho ang salmong ito. Sabi niya, there is the God of power. Yan ho yung salitang, O God or Elohim. I want to tell each and every one of you that the God we are serving is powerful. He can change the situation. He can change a person. He can change anybody. He can change whoever. Kahit na sabihin pa ho natin na wala ng pag-asa, hindi na magbabago. Subalit sa pangalan ng ating Panginoong Jesus, lahat ho pwede niyang baguhin. I remember when we started with Balzain, napakarami, napakahirap po nung pumasok kami sa Balzain. Sapagkat ang tawag ho sa Balzain, squatter po yan, or little tondo ho yan ng tubigaraw. Yung aming mga pastors and youth leaders, pag pumasok sa Balzain, kamatin ka, kaputa sa antang amamu, sino na gito eh? But God is so good. We are serving a powerful God at binago niya ho ang sitwasyon, binago niya ang mga tao, yung mga tao kinakatakutan sa Balzain is, nandun na ho sila sa loob ng iglesia at nagpupuri na po sila sa ating Panginoon. Because we are serving a powerful God. Number two, sabi niya, His promise. That's the word when He said, Lord. Actually, that word, Lord, is Jehovah. And the word Jehovah means the God of promise. I want to tell each and every one also of you that when God promises something, He has the power to fulfill it. Kung nangako ng Panginoon na pagpapalain ho tayo, pagpapalain tayo ng Diyos. Kung ipinangako ng Panginoon na ibibigay ang ating pangangailangan, ibibigay ho ng ating Panginoon. Sapagkat God is not a man that He will lie, but God will always stand to His promises at paninindigan niya kung ano ang pinangako sa Kanyang mga salita. The third one is His, His presence. Not only His power, but His promise and His presence. Sasamahan po tayo ng ating Panginoon. Saan man po tayo mapunta. Are you still with me? Yeah. That is the God of power, the God of promise, and the God who will always be with us. In fact, He's the God that is able. He's the God that is benevolent. He's a God, letter C, that is compassionate. He's a God, letter D, that is dependable. He's a God, letter E, that is eternal. He's a God, letter F, that is faithful. He's a God that is G, who is God. He is a God that is H, holy. He's a God that is I, immortal. He's a God that is J, just. He's a God that is K, kind. He's a God that is L, loving. He's a God that is M, merciful. He's a God that is N, near. He's a God that is O, omniscient. He's a God that is P, powerful. He's a God that is P, quick. He's a God that is R, right. He's a God that is S, sufficient. He's a God that is two T, truthful. He's a God that is U, unique. He's a God that is V, victorious. He's a God that is W, wise. He's an X, Y, Z God. And I'm going to exalt Him forever because He's the only God that I serve. That is the name that we trust. The name above every name. One MTCM, one name. Letter T, one team. May may isa kayo dito ay eh. awang tinaisin na dito ay. Eh. In fact, it is read in verse three when David said, "As for the saints who are in the land, sa mga santo or sa mga banal na kasama ko sa lupang ito, yan ang sinabi ho ni David. Sino po ba yung mga banal na yon? Mayayaman po ba? Hindi po sila mayayaman. If you read your Bible in First Samuel chapter twenty-six. Actually, ang tawag ko sa kanila, nasabi ko na minsan ito, they are people of letter D, three Ds ko, in debt, discouraged, and discontented. Tagalog, maraming utang. Letter D, depressed and discouraged. Sila ho yung sinabi ni David, sila yung mga banal. Wala ho siyang kasamang hari that time, wala ho siyang kasamang mayaman during that time. Ganito ho kasi nangyari. Dahil hinahapon ho sa kanyang father-in-law, si Saul. O 
Puso ho kasi ito mga inlaws na ganyan na mahabol. Kaya ho, pinapat, pinap, kaya ang nakapatayin, naglimlimbing ni Suna. Ang tinuante na katano ni Suna timay sa Nakweba, the name of the cave is Cave of Abdulam. Hindi Agadulam. So he was in the Abdulam, he was Agadulam there. At ang sinasabi niya, ang grabe naman talaga ho. Gusto ho siyang patayin ng kanyang father-in-law, saan ho nagkumpisa? Sa inkit. Murder always starts with envy. And envy starts with a bad look. In 1 Samuel chapter, I think, 18, sabi niya, David or Saul was keeping an eye to David. Sa Tagalog, anong tawag? Iniirapan. Tinukano, kuskusinapan. So, naging naka kuskusinap yun, nakamama, makapatay kayo ka. So, kinuskusinapan na, idikwan, it started envy into his heart. So, kusina, to envy after that, anong gusto ko win? Gusto niyang patayin at hinabol ho siya. Kaya ang ginawa ho nitong son-in-law, nagtago ho siya sa isang kweba, ang tawag ko sa kweba, came of Abduna. The problem was like this. Habang ho ang katulang ho sa doon sa loob, meron naman ang iingay ng mga tao. Ayun pala, eto na yung 400 people na sinusundan ho siya. Kung kaano kalala ang kanyang problema, mas malala ang problema nila because three days the problema na they are in debt, they are discouraged, they are discontented. Bakit po ang dami nilang utang sapagkat ho, umaabot sa 50 to 60 percent ang buwis na binabayaran ho ng mga tao doon kay Haring Saul just to maintain the army of Israel. They were discontented. So balit ho, the same 400 to 600 people ang ginamit ng Panginoon tapno ti kasta itag-aida so that itaas ho nila so that ipanalangin ho nila si David. I want to tell each and every one of you in this room today, wala hong milyonary yung malapit dito, wala hong super billionaire, wala hong probably sikat sa lugar na ito but God has given you to MTCM. Uray pa ito na numut na gapuan tayo Uray pa ito awan tiadal tayo Uray no, gapu tayo dyan na unig na barangay hindi ito gigaraw But I want to tell each and every one of you God has gifted you to MTCM God has put you here to pray for the leadership To take care of this church Because this is God's ministry Are you still with me here? We have one team over here. There's a reason why Galatians 6, 9, we need to carry one another's burden. Na nato ti problema ti may sa, hindi ho natin sila i-chichismis, pero ang gagawin ho natin, we are going to pray for them. Awan ti mang dadail dito eh. We need people who will stand and who will say, do not touch that brother because that is my brother in the Lord. Do not touch that sister because she is my sister in the Lord. Hindi ho tayo mayaman, but we know how to take care of one another because we are one team here at TCM. Are you still with me? One name, one team. Let her see one confidence. Amen. Are you still with me? That's the reason why in verse 5, I'm saying to David, Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. Siguro dito sa atin ulaho tayong mana, tama po ba? Ang namana ko sa tatay ko, yung kagapuhan lang po talaga. <laughs> Pambihira. Kakaibang kagapuhan, ako lang ang nakakaalam. <laughs> My father, wala ho siya natapos. In fact, grade 3 sa lahat nalpas na. Section 12, row 21 sa file. As a big tiba, surat, ayam na. My mother, the same. My mother went came from Bohol. And you know where Bohol is? Chocolate Hills. Ang Bohol ho, doon ho galing yung, uh, ano ba yung tawag doon? Doon galing si Cesar Montano. Yeah. At ang sabi, birds with the same feather, they come from Bohol. <laughs> Wala akong mana kami binigay sa amin ho. Yung iba maraming mana ho siguro ditong binigay. Ang mana lang ho, ang namana ko sa tatay ko, hindi ko lang. Kukapuhan, pangalan. Ano? Anak, mag-aral ka. Kasi wala tayong pwedeng ipamana sa'yo. Pangalan lang. 
at edukasyon. You remember those lines? Yung iba naman, walang manang inaibibigay. Anak, ganito na lang. Yung sakit kong TV sa'yo, yung utak sa kapitbahay sa'yo. Kung wala man ho tayong mana sa lugar na ito, ang sabi ho ng ating binasa, verse 5, Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. Are you still with me? Awan sa pulin tayon, no at datayo kini Kristo. There's another ABC that I would like to read to you. I think I read it before. As long as the Lord is with us, we are complete. Are you still with me? Why? Letter A, because we are accepted of God. Letter B, we are beloved by God. Letter C, we are chosen by God. Letter D, we are delivered, we are enlightened, we are forgiven, we have the grace of God, we have the hope in God, we have letter I, inheritance in heaven. Letter J, we are justified by the blood of the Lamb. Letter K, we have the knowledge that comes from God. Letter L, we have the love of God. Letter M, we have the mercy of God. Letter N, there is the nearness of God. Letter O, we are one with the Lord. Letter P, there is a peace that passes all understanding. Yes. Letter Q, we have the quickening of the Spirit. Letter R, I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Letter S, I am sealed with the Holy Spirit. Letter D, I am treasured by God. Letter U, I am united with fellow believers just like what we have today. Letter V, I am validated as an authentic child of God. Letter W, I have wisdom. Letter X, I shall be exalted with other believers. That's why letter Y, I need to yield to Him because the seal of God yes. has consumed me. Yes. That's the reason why it says there is sufficiency in God. And then He says, you have made my life secure. In verse 6 says, The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Kwento ko ulit ito. Nung high school ho kami, by the way, nag-high school ho ako sa Tabaw, boy next door ho talaga ito. Eh. So, when I went home, I preached last Sunday. After preaching, I went to a beach. My wife did not know. We had a reunion with my batchmates. No problem there. Wala akong ex -tour. And I remember during those times, we have a laro, batog na, kukuha na. Tapat mo sa'yo. That's why I remember this very school, CSU. I graduated here. In third year college, Ang usapan namin, whoever will be the president of the student council, walang karapatang manligaw kahit sino doon sa muse ng school, yung presidente lang ng student council. Ang ko yung turturukan, tinangampan niya, mayor. Tatlo lang mga bagnak na presidente ng student council. True enough, I won. Nga bagnak tawang kalabang ko. Oops! Walang pwedeng manligaw dyan. Presidente lang. So, niligawan mo ako ng muse. <laughs> Ang problema, nung mag-fortune na ako, lumipat na ho yung muse ng ibang eskwelahan. Nalitay man ti Biagkon. Usapan ulit kung sinong presidente sa kanyang muse. Fort year. Nagtaray na ko na True enough. The muse became my uh, alalay. <laughs> Batog na bukwa na. I want to tell each and every one of you, I think we read that again, in verse 7, in verse 6, the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Anong ibig sabihin? Saan man tayo mapadpad, ibibigay ng Panginoon the favor of the Lord always. Amen. Eh, sasabihin niyo, ang daming problema na yun. Ba't mo sasabihin favor? Yes. Because when God turns the wheel, are you still with me? Ang buhay parang gulog lang mo yan. Kung minsan nasa taas ka, kung minsan nasa baba. Pero pag inikot ng Panginoon, ang gulog ng buhay, siguro ngayon nasa ilalim ka. Ngayon pagdating ng araw, tataas ka rin, aangat ka rin, sapagkat pagpapalain ho tayo ng ating Panginoon. That's the reason why He says, everything has a season. If your season today is problem, your next season will be solutions to your problems. You will see the blessings of God. You will see the hand of God to move into your life. 
There's a reason why he says, The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. Verse 7, I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. Tinuturuan ho. Napakahirap po magtat magtatag ng isang gawain ganito. Subalit meron hong nagtuturo sa akin, Panginoon. Napakahirap pong manilbihan sa gobyerno. Subalit kung kinakailangan natin at alam natin kung saan tayo pupuha ng lakas, nanggagaling ang karunungan sa ating Panginoon. That's why we appreciate people, even people in government who come for prayer because they know without God's providence, wala po silang magagawa. Are you still with me here? Yes. Kailangan po natin na ating Panginoon. Even at night, my heart instructs me. Ibig sabihin, pag may problema ka, itulog mo na lang, kapatid, sapagkat paggising mo, bago ka magising, aayusin ng Panginoon ang isipan mo. Huwag niyong pagpupuyat ng problema. Itulog yun, Daita. You remember? With Adam, may problema ho siyang malaki. Wala ho siyang kasawa. Lahat ho nang dumaang hayop sa kanyang harapan, meron hong kasamang partner. So ano hong ginawa niya? Pumunta sa makapakal para naghanap ng babae? Hindi ho. Ang sabi ho ng Biblia, pinatulog siya ng Panginoon. Pagkagising niya, wow! Nagpintas. Wow, man! The flesh of my flesh and the bone of my bone. When we rest in the Lord, He gives the desires of our hearts. Amen. And the last, that's the confidence that we have. One name, one team, one confidence, and one, what's the last? Motivation. Why do we need to continue serving the Lord? In verse 10, sabi niya, Because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will let your Holy One see decay. Verse 11, You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Sa mundong ito, paputol-putol ang ating kaligayahan. Pero sa ating Panginoon, there is pleasures forevermore. Our faithfulness, lagi kong sinasabi, is not just for you. Your faithfulness to the Lord is your investment to the next generation that will come after you. Meron akong kwento, kunyari, hindi nyo pa natinig. This is to end my message. Meron akong kwento, kunyari, wala akong natinig pa, ha? Meron daw isang matanda, balbaliwan tayo natin, matandang, hindi, sige, bakit nga matmatay? Narinig ko yung kwento ito. Matmatay sunan, so pinayaban na si pastor na. Ganyan talaga, no, dat i matmatay, pastor ni Dajay. No, dada na pastor. Himno may atidya, nalipatan na si pastor. <laughs> So matmatay, I want to Pastor, Pastor, I think I'm dying. I want you to pray for me. Okay, let's go to pray. Pastor, it's like this. Kunyari din yung panatin eh. Pag namatay ko ako, gusto ko ikaw yung will do the funeral service, eto yung tatantahin, arise, shine, for the light has come. Or whatever song. But this is one thing, and sabi niya, okay, 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 okay. So, they prayed, and the pastor left. Sabi niya, patawagin niyo ulit si pastor, may nakalimutan ako. So, tinawag ko si pastor, ano po yung nakalimutan ko, sister? Tapos to, eh, into numatay na, doon, paghabang nakahiga, nakahiplay po ako, pwede bang lagyan mo yung tinitor ang aking kamay? So, kunyari, hindi niyo pa narin eh. So, of all things, bakit tinitor? Kasi yung iba, anong pinapangawak? Rosario, tama po ba? Yung iba cellphone para matawagan, unlimited phone, with charger. Yung iba naman pinapahawak, titulo kitaka. But I heard one thing from the Chinese, sabi niya, when somebody dies, ay, eto pala yung master ko ng ano, si Concejal Ortiz. Yan. <laughs> <laughs> ng Ortiz Memorial. Eto walang, walang, walang ano eh, 
Walang electioneering eh. Tawarin na kawad ni kampanya kay may nakalagay Ortiz, Ortiz. Nagkalat sa Tukig Karan. <laughs> Kaya, friend ko ito. <laughs> okay. Kinapintas ka doon, swerte gusto eh. Nagkakan naman tayo, ipapit-pit yun dyan kwarta. Kahit sakbay na maitabon, bago ilibing, tanggalin nyo yung pera, ilagay nyo raw sa pitakan nyo. Sabi, pag ginawa nyo, hindi kayo mawawalan ng pera. Oo nga naman, kasi binagay mo sa pitaka mo, hindi ka talaga mawawalan ng pera. So sabi niya, lagyan nyo ng kinidor, pastor. Bakit kinidor? Sabi niya, ganito po kasi, pag nagkakainan sa church, at marami nag-a-attend, oo nga naman ano, pag may kainan sa church, marami nag-a-attend. Pag nagsiserve po sila ng pagkain, at naiserve na, ang sinasabi ng mga nagsiserve, sabi niya, hold on to your four, because the best is yet to come. Ang ibig sabihin, huwag niyong bitawan mga tinidor niyo kasi yung pinakamasarap na pagkain, hindi pa namin na isiserve. I want to tell each and every one of you, if you have seen God move into your lives, into our church, God is not finished with us yet. Yes. Because the best is yet to come for NTCM. Amen. What is that best? Hold on. What is our for? Kanya titinidor tayo ng nama ko that God will bring everything into completion. So do not give up. Continue to serve the Lord because the best is yet to come for NTCM. One NTCM, we have one name that we trust. That's the Lord. We have one team. This is the team. We have confidence and we have motivation. The best is yet to come. Palapakan po natin ang ating kanina. Shall we sing that song? Kay buti-buti mo, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord.